Hey guys, so welcome to this video. I found this really cool automation to uh, to work with ChatGPT uh, and your WordPress website. So instead of making an endless document about how to do it, I might as well just create this video. Um, what I did is I'm using make.com. I uh, have a free account which has, I think, a thousand automations, um, which you don't need necessarily. Um, what I did is I made I made a um, Google Drive sheet with topics in it. I'll show you in a little bit. Then it's sending that information to OpenAI with the API, so not the ChatGPT version, but the actual OpenAI um, API. And then it uses the information of both the Excel sheet and the um, OpenAI generated text from ChatGPT to um, create a WordPress article. And one of the reasons why I'm doing this live is because I think um, we're going to see how many articles this thing is able to create within a certain amount of time. Uh, time of recording is seven past three. Um, so this is the Excel sheet that I created. I let OpenAI do this as well. Not using GPT-4 because I don't have access yet. So I basically asked for a list of um, keyword ideas for Litecoin. Um, then I asked it to make titles, um, create slugs, which are basically URL friendly titles or keywords, and then a small excerpt, which is up to 500 characters. And I manually inserted the category and the featured image of my WordPress website, which I'll get back to in a second. Then it feeds this automation, basically the um, Excel sheet, and I send it to OpenAI, which I set to use the chat completion using GPT 3.5 Turbo. And the only prompt I gave it is write an article about the title. And the title is the one from the Excel sheet. Don't output the H1 title because I'll import that from the Excel sheet itself, um, but do use HTML for the markup formatting. The reason why I used this is because um, the output of OpenAI is just one flat, like basically one piece of information. So it's not possible for WordPress to extract the separate title from it. So I'd rather use the Excel sheet. And then we go to WordPress itself, which needs a, a plugin from make.com as well, where I use the title as the title. The content is from OpenAI. <coughs> then I also have the excerpt and the slug in this as well. I manually set the um, category because it's uh, one category only this time. And I have the featured image ID, which if you go to your WordPress setup and you go to media and you just hover over the image, then on the bottom left, you'll see the URL and it says post is 86. So the media ID is 86, which I put over here. Um, so we got that out of the way. Then it actually already wrote a couple of articles. So I already did the technical analysis in the Bitcoin one. Um, so we have 17 till 56 left, which is 40 articles. So I'm going to set the Google Sheet limit of executions to 40. And to make this more fun, I'll put the WordPress output on published instead of draft just to see the first one. So at the time of writing, I had these two posts up, Litecoin versus Bitcoin and Litecoin technical analysis. And it should now do Litecoin price analysis. Going back to make, press run once. You can also do this automatically every 15 minutes. Just keep adding new title ideas and it just scrapes the, the uh, Google Drive document. It already got the information from the Excel sheet and now it's sending it to OpenAI where you can see the loading bar. It also gives you like live updates on the bottom right. I think this takes like a couple of seconds, not that long actually. Boom, it's sent to WordPress. We refresh this now. Litecoin price analysis. It's in the right category. It has the featured image, which is set for to be the same for each of the Litecoin articles. Written by me. A429, it got the HTML formatting, H2s and H3s. 
and that's it basically and it got the excerpt this is the excerpt for the article so it's now working on the second article and it will keep doing so up oh, that's number two um, and it will do so until it's finished with all 40 articles which i think should take about 30 minutes um, it's now 11 past three so i'll update you in a bit so it's now about 10 minutes later and uh, i ran into a tiny problem which was basically that um, the automation was forced to time out after 10 minutes and that's because i did everything in one single um, run so instead of using a lower number lower lim lower limit um, and run it every couple minutes i did all of them in one uh, run which uh, eventually led to a timeout from uh, OpenAI, even though it was working perfectly. If we're looking at the amount of articles that are published now, I had three published before this, and we can now see that we, I have 21 published. And if you look at the sitemap, we can see that it basically did about two articles per minute, which is insane. And all of them look like this. So with the featured image and with the correct category, with the excerpt, with the um, HTML. Um, one thing that I forgot to include in uh, this specific run is that it can also use internal linking, which would be a great addition to this, um, which you can probably do based on tags, which I didn't include this time, actually on purpose because you get a lot of text and Google has a bit of an issue with uh, indexing those text. So at the time of creating this Excel sheet, it didn't make sense to me to include text, but you might be able to use them to do interlinking faster. Um, so that might be a nice iteration. It's really easy to set up as well. You just go to WordPress, you select tags, and then if you have them in the Excel sheet, you can easily just um, insert the text based on the mapping that you do here. Um, you can include whatever you want. So that's it for now. Um, I'll do the other ones later. This was just a demo case. The website is blank other than these articles now. Um, hope you learned something. I think this is really, really powerful if you use it wisely. Don't spam your website with articles, but you could potentially also plan them in using the um, time scheduler. So instead of doing them um, as published, you can also set them as scheduled which means that like in the future that you can publish them on a certain date and the date you could also set up in your excel sheet so that like every other day you publish an article or like two or three a day i'm not really sure what the threshold would be for seo but um, i think doing 40 in one day might be a bit overkill um, but who knows with google right so um, hope you learned something and see you next time